This is the best VR shooter I have ever played. Kill them! <laughs> Later! Holy! I killed one up top. Killed another one. Killed another. Holy cow, dudes! Let's go, baby! Flash on right. Dead. Both dead. And I killed that guy out of the sky. Dumbass shit, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, bro, that guy's boy. pissed! One more, one more. I'm here. Side of this thing. You got two, dude. You got two. Killed him. I came sliding in like an animal. Look, I've been addicted, all right? But this game has me hooked. I know Battle Royales are insanely played out, and most of us are probably tired of hearing about them. But let me tell you, this game is built different. The movement is like nothing I've ever seen in VR before. Vaulting over objects just makes me feel like I'm straight out of a John Wick movie, bro. Oh my god, and don't even get me started on the gunplay, dude. When you start getting the feel for the weapons and recoil, beaming other players gives me so much dopamine I can collect it from my sweat and sell it on the streets. I'm telling you, this game tickles my brain in all the right ways, man. The UI, dude, is so intuitive. I was smooth sailing within a couple of games with little to no hiccups. I love the armor system. Grabbing the plate and sliding it across your chest just feels so awesome. And say goodbye to clunky grenades, brother. No more zooming to Narnia or dropping at your feet because they figured that out too. After pulling the pin, you use your offhand to aim and it shows the exact trajectory. Then you just let go and watch that puppy land at the feet of your poor enemies, baby. 60 players, boys, in a massive map to cater to all different types of play styles. Dude, it is incredible that they crammed this much of a game and it runs this smooth on the Quest 2 and Quest 3 standalone. Dude, you could... What are you doing? You could be catching W's with your homies right now, dude. But here you are watching YouTube, dude. Get your head in the game. Okay, I'm sorry, okay? I just... I'm just gonna let the clips roll, dude. Let the game speak for itself, all right? Check it out. One more, one more, one more. Hold on. I downed one. I downed one and one left. And watch Storm. Get your health up. Nice! He's dead. Incident. Oh shit, right below me! Get help! I killed him in there. Run. I'm out of ammo! Nice kill. I killed him in air too! The game I just blessed your beautiful little eyes with is Contractor's Showdown. The game that has taken 60 hours of my life in the last week, and I'm loving every second of it, baby. Where you at? They're right here in front. Okay. Cracked one. Killed one. Hit the other. Okay. Killed the other. <laughs> one more in the back. Look at how clean the sniping is, boys. Killed him. All dead. I know, I know, all right? I'm getting a little excited, okay? But this game is just too good to keep to myself. And look at the way that they deal with the crate and skin system, dude. You find these chips in game, you put them into your little iPhone thing, and as long as you don't die before they upload, you got yourself a new box to open at the end of the game, which could be skins or the in-game currency. Dude, it is by far the coolest way I've ever seen any developers do it. Now, there's a lot of things that sneak under the radar when you're watching this game, all right? And I feel like I need to shine some light on them. And the first time I grabbed the weapon and I aimed down sights, dude, my, my ears perked up. Listen to this. Every interaction with them has sound. Grabbing it, aiming down sights, this seems like such a small detail, but I'm telling you it adds so much when you have a tension building moment of silence and right when you aim down sights, it gives you that movie rattle sound when ADS thinks, Jesus Christ, it makes my nipples hard. Bro, look at this ping system, man. All you do is put your hand up on your temple, dude, pull the trigger, and he does this cool little two-finger badass thing, and bing, there you go, dude. Your teammates know what you're looking at, baby. And I know what you're thinking. All right? You know, what? what's the twist, man? What's the catch? What's bad? There's got to be something bad. And there is. All right? It's the spectate system. I said it. It's terrible. You can't see your enemies. You can't see the loot. You can't see anything, which makes total sense because it'd be broken. Okay? But there's got to be a better way. Maybe spawn us in a room with TV screens where we can watch our friends in first person and whatever. I don't know. Spectate system feels like true death. It sucks. But anyways, 
Let me know what you think about Contractors Down in the comments section below if you've played it, if you haven't played it, if you plan on picking it up, if you don't plan on picking it up, tell me why, dude. Drop a like if you like the video and subscribe if you want to see more like it. We also have a Discord with a looking for group in the description if you need some friends, boys. I'm getting out of here. Have a wonderful week, man. Peace!